No, this isn't Terminator T-1000's hand reaching from my table, it's just a mouse. These weird thingies are called ergonomic mice, also known as vertical mice. I've been using a normal horizontal mouse for a long time now and recently I noticed I have developed some fatigue on my wrist. So I decided to check one out from iClever, which is a brand I recognize. Are they really better for long term use? Let's find out. Well, the packaging is something that I was sorely disappointed with. It literally came like this in the box with the bottom section ripped open. It's clearly a unit that someone returned and they didn't even bother putting one tape on it. Amazon has really fallen off, hasn't it? Well, the product looks alright, so let's see. You pretty much just get the mouse and a warranty card in the box. It is a rather strange looking device for a computer mouse. It has a pretty smooth rubber covering where you grip the mouse and the buttons are made of pretty normal quality plastic. It's designed quite well to match the shape of your palm without you having to twist your wrist. It has shoulder buttons near the thumb and left and right click with a scroll wheel. There's also a DPI change button that switches between three modes. The shoulder buttons are quite clicky and feel hollow, but the left and right click are very silent. You almost don't even feel the feedback on your fingers, so it definitely takes some time to get used to it. We'll do a sound test in a second, but let's check out the bottom first. That's what she said. If you remove the panel on the bottom here, it reveals the battery compartment as well as the receiver. It works on a standard 2.4GHz receiver which you can plug into your device. There doesn't seem to be any software with this mouse, so the button functions are pretty much fixed unless you change them yourself using a third party software. It takes one of those standard AH batteries. And damn, that is so smooth. It slides in so easily. That's what she said. Okay, enough messing around. Let's put the AH panel back on and see this thing in action. Turning it on is pretty simple, there is an on off switch right here and all you have to do is plug in the receiver to your computer and that's it, it's good to go. I'm liking how it feels in the hand, even though it looks a little big, it's fitting perfectly to my palm size. My palm length is about 18 centimeters, just in case you're wondering because you know, size matters. And the mouse has really smooth plastic feet that slide easily on my desk mat here. It won't be very smooth if you're using it on a bare table surface, it may even make scratching noises, so use a mouse pad. After using it for a while, I noticed that the other side of my hand, the edge of my palm, is rubbing against the table a bit too much. I wish there was some kind of a, you know, a platform or a protection there. I've seen some mice that do have it, so I wish they had implemented it here too. The initial DPI is pretty low for my usage. I had to set to the third maximum level. And I also noticed that there is an LED that shows you the DPI level. It blinks once to show level 1, it blinks twice for level 2, and thrice for the fastest level 3. As someone who uses a horizontal clicky mouse, this silent vertical mouse was a pretty significant change for me. But once I got used to it, I quickly adjusted to the new pressure of this left and right clicks. They are much easier to press. Let's do a quick mouse test to see if there is any double clicking issue. I proceeded with the test and did both of the left and right clicks simultaneously in a rather unusual and unreasonable manner and it still held up just fine. After adjusting my grip a little bit, I figured out how to lift my little finger off the table to stop it from rubbing against it. Overall, I'm quite happy with this mouse. It doesn't have any rechargeable features, obviously, which is what I would have liked. Like, I'm a fan of USB rechargeable stuff, but I guess this is the next best thing. I can't comment on the battery life, but yeah, we'll just have to see. But I'm sure that, just like many other mice, this will easily last over a month. Speaking of that, I noticed that it doesn't have any auto sleep feature, like this mouse doesn't automatically disable itself after 10 minutes of not being used, it'll continuously stay on. So if you're leaving your desk and you don't want to waste your battery, you'll have to manually switch it off. iClever makes a bunch of other products too that I've seen, like this kid's headphone. I stole the, I mean I borrowed this from my neighbor's kid. They make pretty good quality stuff. Look at these ear cups, they are so tiny compared to a normal headphone. Aww. Kids are so stupid. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked. Here, let me show you how quiet this mouse is. Take a listen.
pretty silent huh yeah it's annoying at first because it doesn't give you a clicky feedback but once you get used to this lower pressure clicks it's actually quite nice to use the scroll wheel is pretty nice and stable too and the shoulder buttons are an added bonus no i said bonus god this editor and yes to answer the most important question it is better or rather it feels better than a horizontal desk mouse i'm going to start using this from today and give you my long term impressions so i guess this is my setup a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse an ergonomic mouse i'm going to go around and tell people that they are idiots for using a normal mouse yeah i'm going to be that guy you know what i'm also going to get a standing desk and tell people who are sitting down that they're going to die sooner from now on you call them chair people oh and three times a day you have to say sitting is the biggest killer in america yeah, 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 yeah. It looks sophisticated but it's only like $20 so I'll leave a link in the description which you can check it out. And you know who else can give you something premium for really cheap? Our channel sponsor keysfan.com. Instead of buying one of those disgusting diarrhea burgers, why don't you spend that money and get a pro grade license for yourself? Huh? What? So paying $15 for a $200 license is still not good enough? Fine, take another 50% off using my code in the description. You can buy other stuff too like Microsoft's office suit. That can get you a legit job where you can earn money and then lose it all over crypto like Luna. So use my code buy me a coffee and you'll be the next Elon Musk, I think.